Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So, have you guys seen me in the same clothes as the video before? It's because I'm recording both videos in the same day. I really wanted to come here and show you my everyday makeup routine and I've been incorporating some new products and if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys already seen me talk about these products. Shiseido. Synchro Skin. Oh, and I have this first product here, which is the Since Grow Skin Soft Learning Primer. Primer, I actually really, really, really love it. And I'm just applying some on my fingertips right now. I just apply this all over my skin, and it instantly absorbs into your skin. You know, blurs out your pores like it's insane what this does the first time i used it i was blown away but it does a very very good job i think it's definitely worth the money it does such a great job in just blurring out your skin and minimizing the size of your pores and i have pretty large pore. This is how my skin looks like. The uh, Shiseido Since Grow Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation Oil Free and it has SPF 30. It's a hydrating formula. 24 hour hydration, luminosity, medium to full coverage. Light that lifts. I'm just gonna apply this with my beauty blender. I'm gonna use the Araceli Bella Sponge. And I'm just going to apply one pump of this and then to work it into my little face. Unfortunately, this shade is like a little bit lighter than my skin tone, but I still just work with it. What do you guys use to blend out your foundation? Do you guys use a brush, a sponge? And if so, can you guys comment down below what you guys are using? And if, if it's a sponge, what brand? Or um, if it's a brush, what type of brush do you use? I would love to know. My skin looks so good. I really love this foundation so much and it wears really well. I really love it. If you guys are going to splurge on a foundation, I definitely recommend this one. It's like $46. Okay, next I'm going to be doing my concealer. I like to apply it right here. And then right there. of my nose and that's pretty much all I've been doing for concealer I do let my concealer sit here for like a couple minutes in the meantime I could do my eyebrows really quickly and I'm still using the Morphe micro brow pencil in the shade chocolate and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna run out soon, so I really need to go get another one at Ulta. When I'm back, you guys will be seeing me with my eyebrows done. But now I'm just going to blend out my concealer. And I just like to keep it in this area. And bring whatever is left over onto my eyelids.
I like to set it with a loose finishing powder from Maybelline, and this is in the shade 10. And I really just pick it up with my sponge. And just lightly set it. Then I set my smile lines. What I've also been doing is lightly baking right here. Just very lightly, like not too much product. I've been using my Milo Cosmetics Stardust Glow Palette to bronze my face. And it's this beautiful palette right here. It has a mirror and these four different powders. These two up here are highlights. This is Luna Star. And this is a blush named Delta and the bronzer named Dawn. So I'm going to be taking Dawn right now to bronze my face. And I'm going to be using the Alamad Cosmetics um, Complexion Brush. I really love this one to bronze my face. And I just... Just bronzing my forehead with the same product that I use on my cheek area. Like, honestly, this stuff is so pigmented and it goes a very long way. Okay, and I do contour my nose. I've always contoured my nose, but I never show it on camera because I'm not good at it. So I won't be showing you guys, but I'll show you guys how it looks at the end. From the Alamar Cosmetics Brighten and Blondes Complexion Trio, I'm going to take Rise and Grind with the Brighten Blush. I'm going to take that and just apply it right in here. Whoa, yeah, it brightens very well. I love this stuff. It's just such a great job. You want to cover up your dark circles. Ugh. Try to focus this right in here. In this part of the under eye and the inner tear duct. And then I would just lightly brush it over my nose to blend in the contour. I'm gonna take Delta with this Morphe times Jaclyn Hill brush. It's the JH04. I'm just gonna apply that onto my cheeks and I like to kind of apply it right in this area first. So I apply my brush pretty high up um, and then I kind of just start to blend it into my nose. I really just gently do that and then I kind of just swipe it on my forehead and on my chin. Then I like to take my bronzer brush and I'm just going to be blending those two together. Just like this. This is the Morphe and Jeffree Star one. This is in the Starberry scent. And I love these Morphe setting sprays because it's a mist and you don't have you don't have to shake it at all. I always forget when I pick it up. I always want to shake it. 
um, but you don't have to shake it at all. You just spray it on. Well, I'm going to go in with Luna, this pretty like champagne shade. And you guys, these are so pigmented as you guys saw with the bronzer and the blush. I like to go in. But I'm just going to apply just a little bit. I've lately been using the Azteca Eyes from Araceli Beauty. I like to use this shade right here, which is called Cacao. Okay. You should definitely check out her, her brand. I love her whole message and concept within her brand. I love how she's very passionate about her brand and her culture, and she includes that in her brand. Sometimes when I feel like I want to add just a little something, I will take my Mellow Cosmetics Golden Glow Glitter Chrome Eyeshadow. And you guys, this is so gorgeous. Like... This is so, so pretty. I love it. And you guys should see how it glows under the sun or any light. Like, it looks so beautiful. I'm going to just apply this all over my eyelid. Curl my lashes. I'm going to use my L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara. Guys, I need a new mascara. I want to try it out a different mascara, a new one. Um, so if you guys have any recommendations on a mascara, any favorite of yours, please comment down below your favorite mascara. I will love to try it out. Now I'm just going to apply some clear brow gel on my eyebrows just so they can stay in place and not move. I don't think I'm gonna apply any false lashes today just because I'm just gonna be at home from Mellow Cosmetics and this one is in the shade Sydney. This one is my favorite because it's honestly like the color of my lips but better. So I'm just gonna apply this on right now. Highly, highly recommend all these products that I use on my face today. But I've been wearing all of these products every single time I've been doing my makeup lately. This has been my everyday makeup. I think this is all for today's video. I'm very happy with the way my makeup look as I am always am when I do this makeup look. If you guys like any of these products, I will try my best to link everything down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!